What's up guys, welcome back to another Convicted Arm video. Today we are going to be showing you the new farm update. Now, uh, you had this farm merch in here before, but what they added was this big, uh, great big windmill and this house. And that was a community project funded by the, the, the people of Skybook. And uh, so what it added was a new NPC. Now this NPC can do a lot of stuff. So my guy Jacob, he does this amazing thing called contests. Now... His farming contests, basically, they're very OP because of these things you will get. And I'll show you what to do with them in a minute. But basically, how the contests will work is uh, every three skybook days, which is an hour, uh, they'll do a competition for three different types of, uh, different types of, what do you call it, uh, different types of farming resources. And those farming resources, uh, you have to get bronze, silver, or gold. Now, currently, I only have one bronze medal because... I d I uh, sold one of well I sold a hoe to somebody uh, that wanted it. Um, so yeah, I spent one of my uh, bronze medals already. Um, so basically, I'll get you some contest footage in a minute. Uh, but basically, how it works is you mine as much of that resource as possible. You can only do one of the resources per time, so don't try and do multiple; it won't work. Uh, and then you get rewards. Now the rewards, if you get bronze, you get. Uh, the turbo of that uh, resource, so I have turbo wheat one, and I also have turbo cocoa one. Now that's great. If you've been watching the cocoa bean war, you'll know that that is going to be very very useful for me. Uh, so I should be able to get up to turbo cocoa two at least, maybe three, and uh, make that really good. So yeah, you get that. You get that for getting bronze, and then you also get ten Jacob tickets for getting bronze. Uh, you also yeah like this. So you get. 10 Jacob's ticket, 10, uh, 1 turbo of the thing, and a bronze medal. Now, let me show you what you do with these things. So, up here, uh, there is a person called Anita, and she sells lots of stuff. Now, for bronze, you can get the Prisma Pump and the Hoe of Great Tilling. Now, that's not very useful. The bronze medals aren't very useful. Um, the Hoe of Great Tilling is just a better version of that one. Basket of Seeds, that's pretty useful if you're farming wheat. Uh, Cocoa Chopper. This is, I don't think this is very good. It, it might be useful, but it basically does the same as this, but it do, when it doesn't have efficiency, and uh, it it takes a gold medal, which isn't worth it, and it just does re replenish, does already. Uh, melon Dicer, that's quite cool. I wonder how much that orange Jesus actually works. Um, that might be quite useful. Uh, you've got the Pumpkin Dicer, same thing. Uh, mathematical hoe. Now I don't know exactly how this works yet. Can I view the recipes? No, I can't. Um, convert and sell your medals. I haven't seen this before. Oh, if you make, uh, oh, you can you can give bronzes in to make silvers. That's pretty cool. Uh, golds take four silver. So I could do like twelve bronzes and convert them into one gold. Maybe that's pretty cool actually. Uh, you can sell them for tickets. No, I don't think those are worth it. That's not a very good trade. Um, I would stick to keeping the medals and trying to upgrade your bronzes to silvers and then your silvers to golds. Now, the mathematical hoe, I believe it's very good. I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, plus one farming level cap. Now, this is interesting because if you have farming 50, now you're going to have to get to farming 60. Now, to get there, you're going to need to get 10 of these and also have the XP to get to 60. So it doesn't matter if you're a lower level, you still need the XP. Uh, extra farming drops. I don't think this is great. It's 2% chance, so you get more from just having the turbo. Maybe it will work out eventually, but yeah. And with farming, I already have 100% double drop. So I think I'm about to move on to triple drop, so that's cool. But yeah, I'm going to jump into some footage of me actually doing one of the contests. And I'll see you guys back after that. Goodbye. Alright, I've done it. Now, uh, I did a cocoa bean event, and I managed to get bronze, because even if I was farming the entire time, and my farm was big enough to farm for 20 minutes, I still couldn't even get silver. Now, I don't know how these people are doing it, honestly. And maybe it has something to do with the level of turbo cocoa I have, but hopefully if I claim this, then I should get another level. Yep, turbo cocoa one book. Now, that's going to be great. So we've got 26 tickets, and... Uh, Oh, now we've got a total of 26 tickets and another Turbo Cocoa book. Now that's going to be useful because I'm going to go and chuck that on there. 
So we've got Turbo Coco 2. And that's going to be really useful. Um, but yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to get gold. There must be like people with like Turbo Coco 5 and farming 50 to 60 that are doing well in these farming events. Because um, I'm really not sure how you can do any better than what I just did. Well, I, I couldn't even keep up with silver. It was like 40,000 ahead. Um, so yeah, I can only get stuff with just tickets or that are um, using bronze medals. Now, I can't really buy much. But one thing I can do, if I can't manage to get any golds or silvers, I can convert my uh, four bronze medals into one silver medal, I believe. So then... Also, what you can do, these are going down in price rapidly, so this this, this money-making method won't work for very long. But what you can do is if you sell them all to the bazaar, that's 26, that's about three, two and a half farming festivals worth. And uh, that'll get you 866,000. Now, I don't think I'm going to do that, just because I'm not very short on money at the moment. I'm, I've got over like 8 mil-ish somewhere, I think. Uh, yeah, 8.7 mil, so yeah. I hope you guys uh, did enjoy this little spotlight on how I, I completed the farming festival. Now you can do it too. Now I'm just going to leave you off with some good tips. Now, depending on which resource you're doing, you're going to make sure you have the right turbo enchant and uh, try and get at least level two of it. And then I think this thing is going to be quite good. I've never tried it before. Uh, it can have five specialised hoes, which I assume for each different... Um, type of resource and they have three tiers each so say you wanted to farm wheat you could make a wheat hoe and upgrade it to tier three now that's really difficult to do but a mathematical hoe is going to be very useful so yeah uh that's one tip uh, another one i would be say is get the axe or whatever to, for the one you're using get this this is quite useful plus two drops that's decent have a high farming level as well i think mine's like 20 something even though, because cocoa beans are actually terrible for it. Even though I've harvested like 8 million cocoa beans, I'm still only on 24, which is a bit strange. I think pumpkins are the best way to level up your farming level, so that'll get you a ton more drops. You've got the melon dicer, so you get 5% more XP, and same with pumpkin, and then you get the RNGs, this thing. So that's good. The the basket of seeds might be useful if you're farming, uh, if you're farming wheat. But the second part isn't great, but the place seeds in this basket is alright. Uh, how great, greater tilling. Now, I don't think that's going to be that useful. I'll go, go for this one if you're going to go for one of them. Because uh, that might be useful. Say you're building a massive farm, that might be very useful for you. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it for Jacob's event. Uh, I'm going to be covering, hopefully, all of the stuff that comes with new mares and new, new buildings. So yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and come back later for another one. Goodbye for now.